Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and today we are going to see about the dynamic data set. So, in the last video of this video series, we have seen about the dynamic linked service and how we can create the parameters inside the linked service and how we can utilize all those. So, if you haven't watched that video, so before going forward, I would strongly recommend to watch that video because we are going to utilize the same linked service in today's video. So go to on the browser and we'll try to see in the practical about the dynamic data sets. So here we are. So if we can go in the manage and let me quickly go through about the link service that we had created. So this is the link service that we had created and under that you can see we are using these four parameters. So let me cancel this and go to the author tab here we can see the data sets so i want to create a new data set so let me click on this and go to the data set and the type so the type that should be the azure sql so let me search for the azure sql let me click on continue here let me call this as dynamic data set and this is for the azure sql and this is for the employee table now in the link service i just want to add a new link service that you can see here that we had already created in the last video so let me select that one now here if we are going to select this drop down will be not going to see any table this is because if you have remember so in the last video we are using these four parameters and we did not pass any static values here so let me click on the test connection and let me try to copy this and let me provide the default values here so you will be able to see the tables available under that so the pvi and the last is the password click on apply Now, if you can see here, let me refresh this. So everything is okay. Click on okay. Under the table, it is loading, and now you are able to see this table. So here we don't have any option by which we can make this table as dynamic. Now, so let me try to click on okay. So once we are clicking okay, everything is okay. So it will be creating a new data set. So under this data set, here we can scroll down. So under the table here we can see the add dynamic content option and here we can also see the add dynamic content option so the purpose of the dynamic data set is while we are going to select the tables it is possible that in the dev environment in the prod environment in the uat environment in the last video we have seen so it is possible that the environments are having the different table names it might be employee underscore dev employee underscore uat employee underscore prod so those are the table names so it is possible that your uat environment your prod environment your dev environment will be having the different different names in the tables so by which we can make that as dynamic as well so here if we can see the schema so it is also possible like the UAT is having under the DBO schema in another environment will be having another schema so that is also possible so we can also make this as dynamic but I am not going to make the dynamic of the schema only in the table so let me click on add dynamic content here so here as we can see we are not able to see any dynamic content here so this is because we did not create any parameter so let me cancel this go to the parameter section under this data set click on new and let me call this as table name and go to the connection again and let me add dynamic content once select this so this time you can see it is having data set dot table name so while we were using the link service it was link service dot table name and here we are using the data set so it is data set dot table name so this is the difference between data set level parameter and linkage service parameter so that you can identify very easily so let me click on ok 
so everything looks okay let me publish all click on publish so here we are creating the data set as well so it is publishing so published completed so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video